Can you believe this? <laughs> no, really. Can you believe this? There are some folks who do not like Angel Snub Nub 7. Can you believe that? They wish Angel Snub Nub 7 to be dead. They wish Angel Snub Nub 7 bad in his life. They do not want Angel Snub Nub 7 to have peace. When you die, nobody going to be at your funeral. When you die, Angel Snub Nut 7, Snupster, Truck Truck 7, Angel Up Up. When you die, you're going to die alone. Nobody going to be around when you die. <laughs> I don't know how many years I have heard this. What you or maybe you don't know or fail to understand. Angel Snub Nub. Or maybe if you got my autobiography, which is available on Amazon, for those who are interested, the link is in the description box. For those who have studied me by reading my autobiography, available on Amazon. Link is in the description box. Then you would know that, or maybe I didn't describe it very well, but we're going to talk about that now. I was a loner, I was a nerd. I didn't really like being around people. I spent a lot, a lot of time by myself. And then my mother, she gave me permission to have a pet, which you know of as Angel Snub Nup. And I would spend a lot of time by myself. I would go to the pond or to the lake or just walk around in the forest areas and just think about things and play and enjoy the company of my dog. I, um, uh, I don't advocate pet ownership. I view pet ownership like slavery. I really do. But I understand why so many of you, you value the friendship of a dog or a cat. Because that dog and that cat most times are very loyal to you and their love for you is real. You know you can trust that dog or cat or parakeet. I was so in love with my dog when I was a child. So I do understand. It's a shame 
<laughs> it really is. It's a shame that a dog, a cat, or a rat, or a goldfish, it's a shame that a that an animal that cannot talk that cannot communicate with us from another species oh we connect with an animal more so than a human being an animal a dog or a cat is more trustworthy Than another human being. That's a shame. So when they say. Angel snuffing up seven. You're going to die alone. That that don't bother me. Because it was. It's, it's our interaction. With other human beings. That bring us. Problems. These human beings cause us stress, aggravation, disappointment, frustration. These other human beings can even cause our premature death. Mm, it's a shame. I have no problems until I have to deal with human beings because human beings are selfish, greedy, arrogant, envious, jealous. I don't have to make a long list. Many of you already know these things. They are rapists and murderers and child molesters. Mm. Even in your family. I'm going to die with all my family around. Yeah, they, they hope that you leave them something. Yeah, go ahead and die. I want your car. I want your shoes. Yeah, I like you a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> Some of us hate our mother. Our father, our brothers, cousins. But if they leave you some money, you go to the funeral and you cry. Some of us will even plan the death of mother or cousin to get some money. We don't live in an environment of peace. Here the mem says or shows a peace symbol. There are three types of people. Peace breakers, peace fakers, peacemakers. I don't have any. I really didn't have no problem until I began interaction with other human beings because Human beings, regardless of race, you can make a race issue out of it, but the reality is, no matter where you go on this planet, human beings are just foul. Just so damn corrupt. What I want, it's all about me. And that's why you have all these Tribes. It's all about this is the way life's supposed to be. It's all about me. I want everybody in the world to be Muslims. I want everybody in the earth to be Christians. I want everybody in the earth to have a computer by Microsoft. It's all about me. What I want. Those who are Muslims understand, and it's talked about in the in the Holy Quran and Islamic teachings, 
one of the worst things that you can do is break the peace of another person. Right now, I'm in a situation where it's very peaceful, quiet most of the time. I'm just just peaceful. But then you can go on the internet and your peace is broken. In Islam, the Holy Quran talks about you should not break another's peace. It is something worthy of death. There should be a lot of dead Muslims because we purposely break others' peace. We find some of us, we enjoy breaking the peace. And some of us, we claim we want peace, but that's not what we are really about. The peace fakers. Dr. Neely Fuller Jr. advise and suggest to us, we who are soul brothers and sisters, the ones called American Negro, African American, whatever. <laughs> I can't keep up with all the different identities these folks want. They break peace on that. You can't be who you are. No, no, no. You are African. No, no, no. You are Hebrew Israelite. No, no, no. Peace breakers. Have no respect for nobody. Dr. Neely Fuller Jr. suggests and advise. If we cannot communicate and interact in a civil adult cordial manner we should not even talk to one another but we do so all over YouTube the only thing you see is a bunch of folks hollering and screaming Using death threats, vulgar, profane, nasty. Peace breakers. And the same folks who are peace breakers, after they finish calling you the N-word, talking about your mama, they will turn around and talk about black unity, and peace but their own actions and behaviors do not demonstrate that's what they are all about this is why these ideologies religion spirituality black scholarship pan-african teachings all these things produce peace breakers and peace fakers. And this is what we say. This is not my opinion. This is very clear to anyone with any eyes or ears. Anyone can observe this. Oh, you're just a hater. You hate black people. You hate yourself. when you say what is clear and what is true. I would hope to be a peacemaker in real time.